Good morning. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about some research I did with my colleague. Whoops, I guess I better go there. Julie Haney at the National Institute of Standards and Technology. About half of U.S. households in the U.S. have at least one IoT smart home device. And as the market continues to grow, consumers are going to need to protect these devices from security or privacy exposures or attacks. But owners aren't necessarily security savvy, and seldom do they have any professionals who are going to help them support uh, when they maintain these devices. And if you have a lot of devices, these tasks may become burdensome very quickly. Smart home updates may add or fix functionality, but they're also a critical mechanism by which manufacturers distribute patches to remediate security vulnerabilities. And updates may be one of the few tools that consumers have to secure their devices. And not doing updates could really impact their security and privacy of their devices. But despite their importance, updates are not always applied in a timely fashion. Research has found that users may hesitate to apply the updates for a variety of reasons. They may not understand the purpose or the importance, and often they cause disruptions. There's been no large-scale study that has investigated users' experiences and perceptions with smart home device updates. And it's unclear as to whether the same obstacles encountered with software updates also apply in the smart home domain. Gaps result in little substantive evidence-based guidance that can be provided to smart home device manufacturers and others to improve consumers' update experiences. We wanted to answer five research questions, but due to time limitations today, I'm going to cover the three questions in orange. Give me a second to look at them. So our, sur our survey focused on five device categories, including virtual voice assistants, smart speakers, smart thermostats, smart security devices, smart sensors, and smart lighting. We didn't use TVs because you can't buy a dumb TV anymore. We selected the categories because they are among the most popular in U.S. households, and they represent varying levels of sophistication. So what do I mean by that? Well, we predicted these categories would elicit a range of security and privacy concerns. So for example, users may be less concerned about the security and privacy of a smart light bulb as compared to devices with video or audio components. We hired an independent research company that utilized Protege, which is an online opt-in sample panel. And to qualify, potential participants had to be 18 years or older and active users and administrators of at least two of the five categories of device of interest. 412 demographically diverse participants completed the survey. We did both descriptive and inferential statistics. Participants owned on average nine devices, and over a third 35% own 10 or more. So we asked participants to rate their agreement on a five-point scale whether they believed that updates were important from strongly disagree to strongly agree. And across all response categories, 86% agreed, yes, indeed, updates were important. Looking at pairwise comparisons for the device categories, Participants were significantly less likely to agree that lighting updates were important as compared to all the device categories. I don't think that's a real zinger. They think it's a light bulb, right? Voice assistant updates were rated significantly less important than security devices. So then we asked participants to rate their agreement whether they believed that updates should be urgent. And 83% agreed, yes, indeed, updates were urgent across all devices. And as far as differences in device categories, participants were less likely to agree that lighting updates were urgent as compared to thermostats, sensors, and security devices. Security device updates were rated as more urgent than voice assistant updates. So then we asked participants about the current update modes for each device category and what their preferences were. So automatic updates were most commonly implemented for all categories and preferred for both voice assistants and thermostats. However, manual updates were preferred for security devices and sensors. And notably, a number of participants between 13 and 21 percent did not know how updates are currently handled. We asked participants, how do you find out about an update when it's available? And also what their preferred notification method would be. Receiving a message in the device companion app was selected more often for both current and preferred notifications across all device categories. And notably, about 25% of the 
of our participants had to find out from, on their own from either a website, social media, or a friend. We asked participants how they would like to do their updates and how they would like to receive notifications. So over half of participants want to choose between automatic or manual updates and how they receive the update notification. And 40% want to have the ability to uninstall an update. We asked participants to rate their security concerns from not at all concerned to extremely concerned. And on average, only about a third of individuals were concerned as far as moderately or uh, extremely across all device categories. And as far as device category comparisons, there were significantly higher ratings of concern for voice assistants, because they're listening all the time, and security devices as compared to thermostats and sensors. We found significant correlations for lighting, for security concern, and update importance and update urgency. Higher ratings for security concern were also associated with choosing improved security of the device as a top reason to update. We asked participants to rate their agreement on whether devices in each category are secure. And across all categories, the majority, 77%, agreed that their devices were both secure, with the highest rating for thermostats at 85%. As far as device categories, voice assistants were rated as significantly less secure than all other device categories, again, because they're always listening, Security devices were rated significantly less secure than both thermostats and lighting because they're protecting your house. There were significant correlations for all device categories with the agreement devices protect security and update importance and urgency ratings. We expected that updates would be viewed as both important and urgent in order to rectify security and privacy shortcomings. That wasn't the case. For each device, participants rated their privacy concern from not at all to extremely concerned for each of the device categories. And less than half of participants rated their concerns as moderately or extremely concerned for voice assistance at 45% and security devices at 43%. And a lot of individuals are less concerned, not at all or slightly, for thermostats, 51% of respondents, sensors at 49%, and lighting at 56%. Privacy concerns were also rated higher than security concerns. And as far as device categories, participants had significantly higher levels of privacy concerns for both voice assistance and security devices as compared to thermostats, sensors, and lighting. We asked participants to rate their agreement that the devices actually protected their privacy. And across all categories, 77% agreed or strongly agreed that yes, these devices are protecting my privacy. Voice assistants were rated significantly less privacy protecting than devices in all other categories. So due to the exploratory nature of our study, we're not going to make definitive recommendations, but we're going to offer some suggestions for practical ways to improve users' update experiences and awareness. Many of our participants were unsure about update purpose, messages, and how updates were being handled or when they were applied. So manufacturers could provide more information and easy to find update information, and they could be more transparent about their update model. We observed differences in device categories, suggesting that users may place a higher value on some device types, depending on the functionality and the perceived security and privacy exposure. So there may be a need for consumer education about the importance of updates in mitigating security and privacy tasks for all smart home devices. And our users wanted automatic updates for some devices and manual updates for others. So manufacturers could actually provide configurable options. For example, allow the choice between automatic and annual updates, or permit users to set the delivery method and frequency of notifications. Increased user agency may also mitigate frustrations with the disruptions that updates can cause. So you can allow users to postpone installations to a convenient time or uninstall updates that cause functionality or compatibility issues. Consumers may own and manage many devices, making updates challenging. So a centralized app or hub enabling update coordination could alleviate that burden by consolidating update notifications. Some devices allow users to choose manual or automatic updates. Forcing automatic updates is a common approach to reduce the burden on users. We all know that. 
One size fits all doesn't work here very well either because over half of our participants wanted the ability to choose. A lack of user involvement and awareness may result in the development of inaccurate mental models. And that may lead to the inability of users to act in situations that actually require them to do manual updates. Allowing users more control is also supported by IoT security standards groups. Sorry. So I have time for questions. Great. Thank you very much, Suzanne. Hi, thank you for the talk. I thought it was really interesting that 40% of participants expressed interest in being able to undo updates. Do yeah. you think they have specific scenarios in mind when wanting that, or is it, again, part of that wanting to maintain a general sense of agency? I, well, it's probably both. Okay, and that's an excellent question. I really believe that people have experienced so, something going wrong every time they've updated something. Okay, I update my, my Apple phone because it's automatically updated. And one time I updated it and everything was erased. And Apple said, oh, we're going to try to get this back for you. So I think everybody in here can probably tell a horror story of when they did an update and things went wrong. So I think people just really want control of things. But excellent question. One of your recommendations is that manufacturers should provide more information, more transparency to users. And I'm curious whether you've observed, whether in your research or just the personal experience, uh, good examples of ways to do that, especially given the diversity of different... You know, everybody's interested in the labels now, okay? Um, to what's the security and privacy kind of like when you want to go to a hospital where a doctor doesn't get five stars, he gets at four stars. So label, it, labels are one way that uh, individuals are, are looking at to rectify some of, the, some of the problems with doing updates. But I mean, how many, I don't know when my things are updated. I don't have very many because I work at NIST and all of us are like cybersecurity freaks, okay? We freak out about everything. So I don't really have a whole lot, but I had to get some because I had to understand how they're set up so I could help users. So because of that, we don't own a whole lot of cybersecurity ish, or, um, devices. And I, I think that it's very difficult for John Q. Public who doesn't have a cybersecurity background to understand really what's going on. I mean, these people actually thought that these devices are protecting their privacy and security. And to me, I went, oh, that, that is shocking, okay? You think that device is gonna, and you never heard of anything going wrong anywhere, right? You, your, your, your experience with the whole IT world is nothing has ever gone wrong. There's been no breaches. So I, I think any information we can give you, give you know, consumers, is better than the information they're getting now. And labels may be one way to do that. Well, thank you very much for sharing your insight. Oh, oh we have one more question and then we'll, yeah. Uh, interesting talking. And uh, I want to ask, uh, will you keep on watching on the tolerance of the users for different type of the uh, IoT devices? Mm -hmm. the update period, for example, one week, two weeks, or months, or half year, give them, give them uh, one update. So will you keep on to track on this part in the future, maybe? Yeah, I think that there's lots of research that needs to be done in this. I spent weeks trying to find out when, when and how devices were updated. Like, where do you get that information, okay? And most of the devices, I couldn't find any, any information on when they were updated or what the update was for. Apple's pretty good about that with the iPhone. They'll say it's for this, that, whether it is or not, who knows. Thank you. Mm -hmm. right. well, let's, speaker, uh, let's thank the speaker one more time. Thank you.